guys what's up welcome back to my channel so today i have an ulta haul for you guys i am so excited for this video um i went to ulta do you want to know what i went to ulta for let me show you i went to ulta to buy one small thing a pencil sharpener for my eyeliner <laughs> and i left with um some other things they just snuck in my bag i don't know it just kind of you know just happened i was like whoa whoa and before i knew it i was like I i'm paying for this um i haven't really been to ulta in a long time and so i went in there and i didn't realize that they carried catrice so the first thing i actually picked up was the catrice hd liquid coverage foundation looks like this i don't know about you guys but whenever i see like a dropper foundation i automatically assume we're dealing with some heavy coverage the real deal type of stuff. So I did pick up this. This is supposed to be a 24 hour foundation mattifying second skin effect. So it just looks like this. I actually picked mine up in the second rose beige. So it looks like this. It does just have like a typical dropper. I also picked up the um, Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. It's supposed to last 12 hours. Looks like this. I got mine in the shade 005 Night mm -hmm. Light Natural. So it's just like a basic doe foot applicator. Um, I have used this concealer in the past before and I remember really liking it and I was actually all out of my Essence concealer. So I just got this one. It's a pretty uh, it's a pretty high coverage concealer. The next product I actually picked up was a brow product. You guys, I don't do anything with my brows most of the time. Um, I usually just let them chill because I have like platinum blonde hair. So if I fill in my brows with anything, it kind of looks a little like uneven in my opinion. But I wanted to try this out. So this is the Catrice slimming ultra precise brow pencil it's waterproof and it's just your basic like brow product so it looks like this it comes with just like the little pencil end and then it also has a little spoolie at the end i actually bought this in the shade medium which i wish i would have gotten light i think i just assumed this was the lightest shade they had but i did fill in my brows a little bit today i don't know if you guys can tell i just kind of hit like the the beginning part right there and tried to like comb it through um and this is kind of the finished look that we got out of it. So I just wanted to kind of try a brow pencil. I've never used any brow products before, but I kind of just was like, I've always wanted to use one. And I know they have ones for blonde hair, so I was like, or for blonde eyebrows, so I was like, I'm going to do it. So, and then I also did pick up the little product that I did come in for, which was just a little, um like eyeliner pencil sharpener thing speaking of essence you guys i saw that they had come out with these new water kiss glossy lip colors they look like this and the packaging kind of just sold me because i don't know if you guys can see but just look at them that's cute so i have one in the shade mermaid diary and then i have one in the shade aquatic chick shit <laughs> i feel like i just swore aquatic chic so I have these two. They had a couple other colors. Um, I was really interested in this because it just sounds like a very like glossy, like shiny, sheeny lip color. And I was like, that sounds juicy. I can't wear matte lip products, so I always tend to go for more of like the glosses. Um, and I saw those were new and the packaging is cute and I was like, I need them. So to go with that, I also picked up two lip liners. I have like one lip liner that I use. And so I just, I just wanted to get a couple more, just kind of like branch out to some different shades. So I picked up the NYX lip liner in the shade Plum, which which looks like this it's kind of just I'll just swatch it I guess it's just like a berry oh I almost just jabbed my eye out with this holy it's like a berry oh I jabbed my eye out with this holy when the makeup swatching gets dangerous <laughs> so bad um so this is what that one looks like it's just called plum and then i also picked up this one i didn't know this was a matte lip liner it's a matte suede lip liner and it's in san paulo that's probably a name of a city and i just butchered it but this is what this one looks like so i just wanted to get sorry that's the second one this is the matte one i just wanted to branch out with a couple other different color lip liners um because Usually my go-to with lip liners is like I'll line my lips and then put a gloss on top of them. It's just like a really like low maintenance easy thing to do. <coughs> when you want you want some color on your lips. Um I also picked up this. Now you guys, this is an Essence Metal Shock lip paint. But let me tell you guys what went through my brain. I swatched this because I was like a lip paint like why would you want this on your lips? And I swatched it and I could not help but just like be like this is meant to be a highlighter. Like this is what it looks like. So I like blended it in and I was like, bruh, I was like, this is a highlighter. I don't care what you say it is. It's a highlighter. So I actually bought it to be a highlighter because this is like a super light, like fluffy formula. And I was like, there's no way this is going to look good on my lips. So I just decided to buy it for a highlighter. And this is in the shade Mercury. Um, 
yeah so i am gonna use it as a highlighter i'm really excited i don't even know if that's legal but you know what all things can be legal like especially for my skin tone i was like that's literally the perfect color so i did pick up that as well um the last thing i picked up was the essence glow to go illuminating setting spray essence has a couple of new setting sprays out there and i was really really curious to see how i liked it so i guess i could actually just use it right now so it says it's supposed to give you um <clears throat> A delicate glow effect. I'm assuming you shake well. Shake well. Spray evenly 30 centimeters away from face. Keep eyes and mouth closed. That was a bummer. I was going to eat it. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready to be glorified. Oh. The sprayer does not work very well. Oh, that smells like um something I used to use. Oh, <laughs> you guys see what just happened? <laughs> I need help. <clears throat> oh, when it does, oh, this is bad. I didn't shake it very well, or maybe it just didn't spray very well. This is not cute. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, well, that was, oh, gosh, it's literally everywhere. Wow. Um, I don't know if you, you won't be able to see it, but it's literally like a liquid highlighter. Like, it just is like super glow. You guys can see it's like super patchy. Um, so I'm really not sure what happened there. Maybe it just wasn't being sprayed right. I don't know. The sprayer is a little weird. But anyways, that is my little Ulta haul for you guys. I am planning on doing a get ready with me tomorrow morning if I don't work using all these products. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm really excited to try some of these new things out, specifically the foundation. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, and I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye. And bye.